nice of you to drop in. <laughs> Hello, people. I'm the Rock Gamer, and we got the Titans roster announced. So, yeah, this is the upcoming TNT Titan show. I don't remember. I think a pilot was ordered. We don't have a season order, but I believe a pilot was ordered. Not 100% on that, but I believe we did get a pilot ordered. And now we've got the roster released. So, without further ado, the roster is Nightwing, which we already knew. Barbara Gordon, and it's wheelchair Barbara Gordon. They, they didn't address her as Oracle, so she doesn't really have that name as far as we know, but she is Barbara Gordon in a wheelchair. We got Hawk and Dove. Raven and Starfire. Raven and Starfire and Nightwing we already knew, uh, but Hawk and Dove and Barbara Gordon are two new characters, well, three new characters. So we also got some new details with this as well, with Nightwing is still Robin and he's doing and he's dealing with his breakup from Batman. So that's going to be interesting to see. And they said he's a private detective in Boston. So yeah, that's, that's interesting. I was hoping he'd be in Bloodhaven because uh, I... I, I why Boston? Why not Bloodhaven? We've already seen Bloodhaven mentioned. Well, not just mentioned, but he went to Bloodhaven in Arrow. And the CW is a sister network to TNT, so they can be connected. And I don't know why they wouldn't just use Bloodhaven. Maybe eventually they'll get to Bloodhaven since he is Robin right now. And maybe they just want to wait till he's Nightwing to go to Bloodhaven. But this is pretty cool because, you know, he was a cop in the comics when he, uh, when he was Nightwing, he was a cop as well for his day job, and I think that's that's really cool. Barbara Gordon, I'm not too excited about because I like Babs, but she's not a part of the Teen Titans, and I don't see why she should be. I understand why Cyborg isn't here because he's in the movie. I under what I understand why Beast Boy isn't here because the CGI would be insane. But there are some characters I was like, why aren't they there? Like Aqualad, I think would be really cool. Wonder Girl. Now, some people might be thinking, what about the effects of Wonder Girl? Well, a Supergirl TV show is in the works currently. They could do Wonder Girl. Just, you don't have to have her constantly flying. That's really the only effect you need to do. Everything else isn't, like, that that big of an effect. So, I think, uh, yeah, I think a Wonder Girl being in there would be really cool. Hawk and Dove, I'm like, eh. Raven and Starfire, I'm really glad they're in there as well. Again, Hawk and Dove and, Bar and Barbara Gordon are just... When you could have had other members, I was hoping, I would love to see Tara thrown in the show, because that would mean Deathstroke, and that would be so awesome. Imagine, Tara just comes on. For all the people that don't know in the comics, it'd be so cool for Tara to come on the show, and then, like, two seasons later, or, like, a season later, however long they wanted to do it, it's revealed, you know, the, the plan starts an acting of her betraying the Titans, and Deathstroke is behind it all, and it would be men who've been at Deathstroke since it's connected. Well... I don't know if they're going to connect it. I'm assuming they will since they are sister networks. But I just think that would be really cool. And I would love for them to do that. I mean, who wouldn't want to see that? Manu Bennett Deathstroke puts Terra and the Titans to take them down. And it would just be so awesome. I mean, that would just be so cool. I would love to see that. Uh, well, I'm assuming we'll get more Titans down the road. Maybe, since I'm assuming, well, also that uh, Arsenal will probably leave Arrow sometime in the future, like a season or two, I have a feeling he'll leave because, you know, they have that big breakup in the comics, sort of like uh, Dick and Bruce did, so I've, I have a feeling that'll happen, that they'll break off, especially in the New 52, they had like some big breakup that's been mentioned, but I haven't read Red Hood in the, yeah, I haven't read Red Hood in the Outlaw, so I don't know if it was explained there, but in like Green Arrow books and stuff, they mentioned it. But they never said what exactly happened between Roy and Oliver. So, since DC likes to follow the New 52 now, they might be doing something like that, whatever happens there. So, I don't know what's going to happen with that breakup. And then he could go join Titans. And since we see that Robin is dealing with his breakup from Batman, Robin could easily help Roy with whatever he's going through breaking up from Oliver. So... That would just be really cool, and I'd love for Arsenal to be on there. Also, Arsenal would be a character that a lot of people know from Arrow, so he would bring that sort of little oomph that you need, since other people like may not be too familiar with. They already know Arsenal. They've already had three seasons to get to know Roy, so, well, you know, however long also it takes for, uh, for Arsenal to get on the show. But, yeah, those are my thoughts. Please let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like.